Hello, everybody. Today we are going to cover the topic of uh, how to find the minimum of a function uh, subject to the nonlinear constraints. We find the point where uh, Rosenbrock's function is minimized within the circle, also subject to the bound constraints. So if we talk about our model, this is our model. So we want to minimize the function subject to nonlinear constraints where f x and y is equal to 100 x uh, y minus x raised to 2 and whole uh, bracket and then uh, square plus 1 minus x square whole. So in this case, what happens is we are subject to maintain the bound. So we are given the lower bound and upper bound of both the values x and y that is 0 to 0.5 and 0.22.8. And then here we presume that x is equal to x1 and y is equal to x2 in all other below following code. We're going to look into the circle centered at 1 by 3, 1 by 3 with the radius of 1 by 3. And we'll create a file on the MATLAB path named circle constraints m. So this is our file which is, uh, we can look within the circle center, this one. And then we have a function C and C Q and circle We define the value of C, right? And then we expect C Q to be here. We move back and we are here. So we use in this example, sequential quadratic programming algorithm with, it, with F min con. So SQP represents the state of art in nonlinear programming methods based on the quadratic approximation of the Lagrangian function. And that's why you want to use this. The SQP algorithm combines the objective and the constraint functions into the merit function. The algorithm attempts to minimize the merit function subject to relaxed constraints, which leads to physical, uh, physical solution for us. So let's begin. So if we have here function, so we have this file as a support, which is our constraint file. And then we define the objective function of minimization. So when it is minimized, it's always positive. When it's maximized, we use a negative sign here. So we define x 100, and this is coming from here. The same value, but y is x2 here. So we can see that 100 into x2 minus x1 square whole square plus 1 minus x whole square. So this is how we have defined where this will be applicable, right? Applied on these functions. Thereafter, we define the lower bound. So from here, we know 0 and 0 0.2 is a lower bound. So we have defined it here. And then we have upper bound, so it is 0 0.5 and 0 0.8, so we have defined it. All right. And then we have A, B, A equal, and B equal because no linear constraints, nonlinear constraints, all of them. So that's why. Now we define the initial values, so we choose it to be 1 by 4 and 1 by 4. And then we specify the options. The options of optim options, we are defining which solver we are using, that is fmincon optimization solver. We are going, we want the display of the iterations. We want to specify the algorithm that is SQP, which is discussed here, right? Sequential quadratic programming algorithm. And we define some of the factors, what we want to plot. So plot function has all these three chosen. Right, where we want to plot x, we want to plot a fitness value, we also want to plot the first order options. The non linear constraints, so non L con, we are defining it to be circle on, which was defined here. So that becomes our constraints, right? And then this is also the same thing which we are using it here. But whether you give it to x and then specify these things because, or you specify what you want in the output to be displayed. So x, fitness value, exit flag, and output you define, and then get it from the fmincon solver, 
where we pass on the objective function, our initial value, our a, b, which will be filled up later, a equal, b equal, and then lower bound and upper bound, we define the constraints where, where it is to be pulled from, that is circle con, uh, constraints, and then we specify the options which are specified here. And that's it, we run it, and parallelly, this will however print it, but if specifically you want to print x and y values, you can use the fprintf or display x or something. So let's run this and check how it works and what it gives us. We get our values displayed. We can see here that our graph is getting filled up, presenting the current point function value and first order optimality. These are the iterations. And we are getting the first and second x value here. because it is already displayed here, we can see what is the, okay. So we have the iterations. The function was executed for 19 times. The fitness value slowly, steadily is getting down. Can you see that this is the most optimal value, 2.5? We can also see the visibility is zero for each one of them satisfying the constraint, right? And then these are the step lengths. These are the norm of the steps. The first order optimality traveled from here to here. And then we have got the output. So local minimum found and satisfies the country constraints. The optimization completed because the objective function is non-decreasing in the visible direction to within the value of the optimality tolerance. And constraints are satisfied to within the value of the constraint tolerance. We're stopping it, we get X and Y, right? So it's 0.5 and 0.25. And that's where our optimization model is implemented for, especially Rosenbrook's function. Thank you.